So the other day I went surfing with my brothers and from the boat, I saw a new location of Detroit Riprap. If you don't know what Detroit Riprap is, I will show you the intro from my last Detroit Riprap video right now. This is an episode about Detroit Riprap. Basically stacks of classic cars as a form of erosion control. Back in the 50s, someone somewhere decided that dumping broken down old heaps in a river was an excellent idea. Their experiment worked and the eroding riverbanks were becoming stabilized. Lead-based paint? Ah, uh, don't worry about that. This was an active form of erosion control up until the 70s. This is not a common practice today for some reason. Now this is the Fraser River in British Columbia, so I don't expect to find any cars as complete as the ones in these photos, although I stumbled on this place by accident and found some pretty neat old cars. I've included some photos of how the cars that we found may have looked when they rolled off the showroom floor. Look at those. Elsie, what do you think about those? I'm stoked about them. <laughs> I'm stoked. Hello, friends. We are back at the Fraser River here, and I think I might have just found another spot with a bunch of old cars. I've already seen some evidence of cars poking out of the mud, so let's see what we can find. Come on, Chevy. Are you car hunting? Hunting for cars? Check it out, Els. First find of the day. First find of the day. <laughs> That's pretty cool, eh? That's... Yeah? I should bring my pinstriping brushes down here and do some artwork on it. Yeah, there's another old car up there. That one's a bit harder to see, a bit more mangled. But I don't know. Let's see if I can figure out what that is. Hey, try the door handle, see if it's open. <laughs> Not quite, eh? Cars on top of cars on top of cars over here. Found a pickup truck cab. What kind of pickup truck cab is this, Elsie? I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Do you want to get a closer look? Man, it's pretty squishy down here, hey? Eh? What is that? Uh, it looks like a pickup truck. A dent side. Dent side Ford, maybe? <laughs> There's another car right there. This one's still got the seats, chrome windshield wiper. Another dog bowl. Another dog bowl, see? Well, hot dang. See? One was way over there, and now we have another one. <laughs> wow, we're just finding all sorts of gold here. Another car there. Upside down car there. Another one there. But, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we got a 55 Chevy right here. This is crazy, guys. See that tail light there? 55 Chevy, still got the steering wheel on it. Nope, getting stuck in the mud. Don't get stuck in the mud here, kids. It's like that's an old upside down Pontiac. This is way cool. Huh? It sure does. The door's even open. <laughs> yeah, this is neat. Hey, look, it's still got a VIN plate. <laughs> Let's see. Model T27, four door, body number 120, paint code 6082, trim code HAL. HAL. What kind of car this is? Anyone watching tell me what kind of dash this is? I'm gonna do some climbing to check this out. Definitely early 50s, kind of like 52, 53, something like that. That's awesome. Elsa, you want a steering wheel? <laughs> yeah, come grab it.
You got it? Got it. Sweet. How cool is that? Okay. Ugh. What am I standing on? What kind of car am I standing on? I'll... I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely a lot newer than that one I was just looking at. What, buddy? It's a hot rod? I don't know. Maybe a uh, Mopar? <laughs> You're hilarious. Mopar? I don't know. Duster? Not sure. Not sure about this one. Just half expecting a body in there. Part of a transmission. And another upside down car. Let's keep looking. Yeah. What kind of rear end is that? I wonder if it's worth something. <laughs> have to remove it by boat. And what's this here else? What kind of car is this? Let's see. These cars, all the telltale signs are just so rotten away. This looks, might be a Volvo? Yeah, I don't know. Just not many distinguishing features on these in the water so long. There's a dash. Giant dials for your uh, climate control. Huh. Yeah, it's a Volvo. A Volvo. A Volvo. A Volvo 164, it looks like. Somebody's snagged the emblem off the back of there. This is from Park Valley Motors, Kelowna, BC. That's cool. Definitely seen better days. Look at this, old C10. What, <laughs> what do you think of this pickup truck, Chevy? Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah? Shame the grill's so beat up. I think it's worth something. <laughs> you broke it off the tree? Sweet. Another pickup. Looks like you've got a square body Chevy sticking out of the dirt. Just a box. Should we keep looking? <laughs> You're crazy. So just here on the river's edge, you could just see that it looks to be actually part of a roof, just sticking out, just sticking out of the mud. So I can guess the windshield would be here, and that'd be like where the door is. And it just kind of makes you wonder, like, what else is hiding underneath, like exactly where we're walking? I know there's tons of stuff buried in the in the clay up there, but like, what's what's underneath us right now? I don't know. So curious. I just love exploring stuff like this. So we're walking back now. We've kind of reached the end of where the cars are. Um, so we'll see if we miss something. See if we miss something on the walk. Right, Chevy? Yeah. Yeah? Give me a thumbs up, dude. Or not. On the walk back, just did a quick Google search. Park Valley Motors no longer exists. I just realized something kind of funny in that they actually painted these cars when they when they put them down for their erosion control they painted all these cars black and over time and the water the sun has kind of washed a lot of it off because i noticed over here one of these cars was you see the black you know there's a beige car under that black paint or probably white at the time but i noticed that uh some of these uh chrome bumpers are painted black and i was like who would do that but now i'm realizing that it's just black paint that I guess the city put on these cars to try and make it look a little nicer when they yeah. dumped them down the side of the cliff. Done, you done? Let's yeah. check it out. That's sweet, dude. What is it? A low rider, a hot rod. It's a low rider and a hot rod? No, it's just a, a low rider and a hot rod. Oh, okay. A low rider having coffee of a monster truck. <laughs> That's sweet. Another car sticking out of the bank here. This one looks to be uh, maybe like a early, early 50s, like 50, 51 Chevy. 
There's something else. Another car way back there. Can't even really see it. Man, we'll have to come back in the winter and all the leaves fall off the trees. <laughs> We've been walking for a good quarter mile. So, like the entire, everything that you see that's green, that whole berm is just all buried cars. It's crazy. So, anybody else who wants to come and check out the old cars, they are that way.